turn out on the seat. <laughs> We're getting a bit wet. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's bigger. Spraying the foam is mad. Getting totally wet. <laughs> wow, it's starting to get big now. It's getting soaked as well. Woo! It's like the pins and needles in your face. There's a needle in your face. Yeah. Well, my ears. Let's get flipping it. Here it comes. Migrated back to a van because it's <laughs> horrible out there now. That was evil. That was pins and needles in the ears. That was like <laughs> my right ear is freezing. Oh, it's full of water and cold. <laughs> That's <a> RX10 <laughs> and the A7 III, and that is soaked. But what I've done here is actually pull the battery with the lens extended so I can wipe that down in a minute so it doesn't pull back in. Even though it's got a seal there, but it's better not to uh, soak it too much. Oh. Mad. Oh well, welcome to autumn everyone. Right guys, as you can see here, a little bit of HFR, which is high frame rate or slow motion on the RX10 Mark IV. Uh, 500 frames a second works pretty well, as you can see here, and um, it slows it down nicely. I think that's around about 20 times slower than real time. 
Um, if you're at 25 frames a second, that is. So, yeah, I love it. I love a bit of slow motion. You can shoot a thousand frames a second as well on 240. Uh, a thousand, it crops in even more. So you do lose uh, resolution, but it does upscale again. Um, but it just works really nicely. The 500 frames per second. It's it just slows stuff down enough that you can really appreciate what's going on, uh, especially with crashing waves and birds trying to fly in the weather and stuff like that. It, it just works really nicely. Um, let me know if you've used it or do you use it very much and if so what have you used it for I've used it for many many things from insects to obviously crashing waves helicopters slow, uh, flying in slow motion and uh, and things like that so um, it does have some really really cool uses and if you've um, ever seen the slow-mo guys on YouTube they are incredible they use some serious kit but um, you know they are shooting anywhere from you know 500 frames a second up to a million I think it is so well worth checking out their channel. Um, they're such a, a good couple of guys as well. They make some really interesting stuff. Uh, obviously, at some point, we may see an update uh, with the RX10 5 or something else, if it's called something else. But um, now with the uh, the um, A1, the A6700, the A7R5 and stuff like that can shoot 240 frames a second um, with autofocus, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, with... The HFR stuff, you do lock the camera, um, so you lock your focus. But if you can remember which way to push, uh, rotate the ring, you can manually focus the um, RX10 whilst in HFR. Uh, I don't generally bother um, because it's such a short period of time that you know most things are still in focus. That that moment you're trying to capture, like the one to two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. Um, so you know it really does. Um, just give you an insight of what's happening much, much um, faster. Um, it's quite a rainbow, which randomly appears. Um, not all the time, it's just that bit there. You can just about see it. It's very faint, but the camera's done really well to pick that up. Um, obviously, my horizons aren't particularly level because I'm being blasted all over the place and I'm not really concentrating on the horizon, but obviously I try and keep the horizons level. I could crop in a little bit and then rotate it, but I'm just leaving it real world so you can kind of see what's going on. Like this, the wave coming up in front of the seagull just look awesome in slow motion as it's flying. Um, that's the real benefit of the RX-10 because the sensor is smaller, your focal plane is bigger. So even at F4, uh, I think your depth is something like F13 or F11, something like that. So you do get um, some really nice depth and things will stay in focus a little bit longer. So you do have some serious benefits over uh, a full frame sensor or even an APS-C sensor. Uh, so it might be dissed upon in some respects, but actually in the real world, for usability and things like that, it's fantastic because it really helps you out. Um, that's it, guys. Um, I'm just going to leave one more other clip playing um, and uh, at the end of the video, but please click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Don't be afraid to use your RX-10 Mark IV out in the rain. It's not that bad. It's pretty well sealed up, um, and uh, I've thrashed the hell out of mine uh, over the years and uh you know it's held up really really well so and i've properly soaked it and most people wouldn't but you know a bit of rain um for 10 20 30 minutes it isn't really going to kill it um obviously i don't hold it to that depending on how bad you get it soaked but um as you saw in the van i actually pulled the battery with it extended just give it a wipe um around the um lens barrel there when i could get a cloth and uh yeah it was uh it's totally fine so that's why one thing I tend to do is not, um, if it's chucking it down with rain, I don't generally retract the lens back in uh, just to make sure that any extra water can't get pushed through the rubber O-ring that is in, in the lens there. Um, that's it, guys. Like I say, please click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Um, have you been out capturing some of the crazy weather? I know there's a lot of bad stuff going up north in the UK, so, um, you know, hopefully everyone's all right up there. But, uh, yeah, I shall see you soon for another video.